Hey, Ross, girl, my money makes money. What if you could travel back in time? Would you have made the decisions with your money, with your finances, with your credit? Would you have made the same decisions? I wonder if you could just travel back in. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> what in the world? I guess sometimes when you speak those things as though they were, I travel back in time. So here it is in the early 2000s. And I'm looking at my bank account, clean slate, clean credit. My mom, my dad, my uncles, my aunts, they didn't use my credit for anything. So am I going to buy an expensive car? Am I going to run up my credit cards? Am I going to go to the payday loan place and take out a loan on my paycheck to get me further in debt? Am I'm going to skip my rent this month so I can get put out next month? Am I going to change the decisions now that I have a second chance? Now, am I going to be scared of investing like I once was? Am I going to save my money in a high yield savings account? Am I going to create a budget so I don't make mistakes in the future because I already know the future. Now, some people who are now living in the early 2000s, right? Because we travel back in time. We can change our future so that our future's future, if that makes any sense, can be bright and profitable. Because if you'll continue to make the same mistakes, knowing what you know now, are you not living in your past? Because you're now living in the future. Because I explained that the future is now, 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 and now. Every moment, every millisecond, every second, every minute, every hour, the future is moving, leaving you behind. Because during this time, if you were born or you wasn't born, you had decisions to make and you made the wrong decisions based on your situation, based on your knowledge, or what if you had a good situation? What if you had good knowledge of finances, but you just simply made the mistake? Is it a mistake? If you knew the information, no. You were stupid. You was an idiot. Okay, listen, take it. I was stupid. I was an idiot. I knew some of the things that I was going to do, I was going to end up in financial hardship, but I did them anyway. Why? Because I was stupid. I was an idiot. It's okay to call me that. It's okay because you got to know what you were, but are you still there? Oh, whoa. Now I'm back in the present. So now that I'm back in the present, you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, and you have the information, okay? You have Ross World, you have all the sorts of entities to learn financial information and financial literacy. Are you applying that to your life? I wonder why, because it's gonna give you value, okay? Your net worth, when you know how you look up, you go to Forbes and you look up people's net worth, oh, Puffy, he's worth 800 million. 50 Cent, he's worth 300 million. I'm just throwing out some numbers there, guys. Trump, he's worth three. Three million, or I mean, not three million, <laughs> three billion, and Warren Buffett is worth 70 billion, or some odd number like that, some arbitrary number. It doesn't matter. The point is this What is your net worth? So, this is why I like Wealthfront, okay? I wasn't gonna talk about Wealthfront, but nevertheless, Wealthfront, once you put all of your assets, all of your debt, when I mean assets, I mean your bank accounts, your savings accounts, your investments, then you put all your debt in there, whether it's your car, your mortgage, personal loan, business loan, whatever it may be, they tally all that up in their system using their advanced algorithm, they probably do, and it tells you your net worth. What is your net worth? So if you could travel back in time and fix your finances, or, or better yet, don't start the trend of having bad finances, would you? Because now you're living day to day, you wanna party, you wanna have fun, don't we all, but you're living in debt. So how do you change that? 
you change it now with the information that's provided. Go to Ross World, check out my playlist, and find a video. Hopefully, I can motivate you. Hopefully, the information is relevant, and it pushes you towards a better future of getting out of debt, budgeting your money, saving your money, and investing your money. It doesn't take a long time to get this message across because you know what you need to do. And if you need help, I have plenty of videos to guide you along the way. This is Ross World. My money makes money. As I'm building my pennies, my nickels, my dimes, and my quarters, maybe one day I'll have a million dollars. One day, I'm out.